Hey gang, how's it going? So, by the title of this video, you probably know that I'm I'm already done. And I did a vlog on it, and um, in short, I, I'm looking for a brighter red hair dye color. If it's not going to be a bright red, I want like a sherbet color, like a like a creamy pink a, like or a rose gold or something like that and this is not bright and this isn't a creamy pink and um, yesterday it was one of those days where I was just like I'm done I'm done with this hair color it's a it's a pretty color you guys like it's a gorgeous it's a very pretty color I was talking to my girlfriend last night and she pretty much said what I what I told you guys. She said, you know, this is a good color for you to wear like when you're a little bit older and you're ready to um, just have like that one color that you wear forever to and because this does look like it is your natural hair color. It looks like a, it makes it look like you are a natural redhead. And so I can see you wearing this color later on. And I'm like, exactly. This is the hair color that I would wear when I retire from doing the crazy red hair colors, right? So I went to the store. I went to Sally's today because I was like, that's it. I'm done. I'm ready to dye my hair. My hair's a mess, by the way. Like, it's just... I've been having it up and I've been like... I put a lot of uh, deep conditioner in it and I feel like it really made it look like kind of grungy on the ends and so I have it down for now and then I'm washing it tomorrow. I might dye my hair tomorrow. Is it too soon? Probably. I was also mentioning this to my girlfriend. I'm like, mm, is a week too soon <laughs> to dye your hair again? You know, and she was like, you know, I heard lots of things growing up when I would dye my hair all the time. She dyes her hair about as much as I do, which is every four to six weeks. But she said back when she was younger, she was dyeing her hair like all the time, you know, and she was like, I would hear the same thing that my hair was going to fall out or how could I still have hair, you know, dyeing it as often as I do. I know that it's probably better for me to wait, but I feel like the past three, is it three hair dyes? I'm not talking about the overtone uh, or the DIY overtone, the manic panic DIY overtone. I'm excluding that. But like the past like three dyes that I have used have all been just regular brown colors and like or red with a lot of brown like very <laughs> very natural redhead colors which are fine and gorgeous colors you guys don't get me wrong I just want that bright red back I want like that fairy of power copper back you know like the boom but I don't want to do fairy of power copper because I've already done that like three or four times you know so I want to try something new so I went to Sally's and I got Paprika. So this is Wella Color Tango in level 8 RRV. So I'm hoping that means like red, red, violet. So I'm wondering if it'll be like red with a little more red with the violet maybe muting it a little bit. Hopefully we shall see. The violet, it doesn't, it doesn't say on here what the colors are and in what order. It doesn't say like red number five or or yellow number one or whatever like it has in, on some of the other products I've used so I don't really know but I'm excited to give this a try the swatch on this is absolutely gorgeous I have been like crushing over just the swatch every time I have gone in and now I'm ready to use it I am a little like intimidated that this might be like intense like I like intense but I'm intimidated by intense I don't know what is going on up in here. Like, I want it crazy, but I'm scared for the crazy. Who knows? So, I went and I got this. I went to the front desk. And she and the lady there was like, oh, hello again. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I don't like this color. I don't like what the light hand dream blonde has done for my hair. And she goes, honestly, that's a shame because that's a really good color on you. And it looks very pretty and very natural. And I'm like, I know, <laughs> but I want to go crazy. And she's like, I know, I know you, you want to go crazy. And I said, and I got the 30 developer this time. And she goes, of course you did. You want it to be vibrant and you want it to be bright. So that's what I did. I got the 30 developer. So we're going to try this level eight with a 30 developer. And we're going to see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> I, um... I don't know. I'm going to look up some things like 
There was a video that I kind of skimmed through at Sally's. I didn't really like, I was too impatient to like watch it all the way through, but I need to watch her video again to see like if she had any key pointers for me to, um, to remember when I'm dyeing my hair. Let's see, uh, let's see. So you mix one to one, so one part dye to one part developer. Let's see, apply the hair using a bowl and brush. Develop for 30 minutes and up to 45 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try putting it in my uh, squeezy bottle and trying and and I'm going <laughs> and I'm going to apply it that way. I'm going to attempt to apply it that way. So that is it. Um, I'm excited to give this a try. I'm just excited to have my bright red hair back. I am. I've been looking forward to it. And um, so yeah, just be on the lookout. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be Friday. I don't know if it'll be next week or next month which actually next week is next month. So that is it. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Catch you on the flip. Bye.